Hi second graders, I'm now going to do a quick review of subtraction that requires regrouping. Uh, we're going to start out with a subtraction problem that does not require regrouping. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Um, again, we always start in the ones column, always, 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 and we always start at the top. So, we're going to start here, 8 minus 6. When we're subtracting, we always want to ask ourselves, can I take the bottom number from the top number? Can I take 6 away from 8? And the answer is yes, because 8 is greater than 6. If I have 8 pencils and I want to give 6 away, I can do that. I have enough. So that means I don't need to regroup. So 8 minus 6 is 2. So the 2 goes right here in the 1's column. And then I go over to my 10's column. And 7 minus 2 equals 5. 78 minus 26 equals 52. I did not need to regroup. Okay, now we're going to try a few that require regrouping. Okay, 64 minus 19. Again, we always start in the ones column and we always start at the top. 4 minus 9. I can't do that. If I only have 4, I can't take 9 away. There's not enough. 9 is greater than 4. That's when I have to regroup. Okay, to regroup, I'm going to go over here to my tens column. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to go to my tens column. I'm going to borrow or regroup a 10 from my tens column. 64 has six tens. I'm going to take one of those tens away. So if I take one away, I'm going to have five tens left because six minus one is five. What am I going to do with that 10? I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add it to my ones column. So I'm going to cross out my 4. 4 plus 10 is 14. Now I've regrouped. Once I've done this, the rest is much easier. I'm still going to start at my ones column. 14 minus 9 is 5. And then I go to my tens column. 5 minus 1 is 4. So 64 minus 19 is 45. Let's try another one. Seventy minus twenty-three. I chose seventy on purpose because some students get a little thrown off by that zero. Zero is just a number like any other number, and we're just going to treat it like any other number. So we're going to start in our ones column, and we're going to ask ourselves zero minus three. Can I take three away from zero? And the answer is no, you can't. If you have zero, you can't take any away because zero is nothing. That means you have to regroup. So. To regroup, we're going to go over to our tens column. We, in the number 70 has seven tens. We're going to cross out the seven. We're going to take one of those tens away. If we have seven tens and we take one away, we're going to have six tens left. What are we going to do with that ten? We're going to add it over here to our ones column. So we're going to cross out our zero. Zero plus ten is ten. Okay, don't make it harder than it has to be. Now we've regrouped and we're ready to subtract. 10 minus 3, hmm, I might need some help with that one. Let me look at my hundreds chart. 10 minus 3, so I'm just going to jump backwards three times. 1, 2, 3. 10 minus 3 equals 7. Then I'm going to go to my tens column. 6 minus 2 is 4. So 70 minus 23 equals 47. We're going to try one more. 27 minus 39. Okay, this time we're going to solve 97 minus 39. Again, we always start in the ones column. And we always start at the top and we ask ourselves 7 minus 9. Can I do that? If I have 7, can I take 9 away? And I can't 
because nine is greater than seven. Just always think, if I had seven cookies, can I give nine away? No, you don't have enough, okay? So we have to regroup. Again, we're gonna go over to the tens column, 97. 97 has nine tens. We're gonna take one of those away, we're gonna borrow it. So if I have nine tens and I take one away, I'm gonna have eight tens left. What am I gonna do with the 10 that I just took away? I'm gonna add it to my ones column. So the seven, seven plus 10 is 17. Now we've regrouped and we're ready to subtract. This is the easy part. 17 minus nine, ooh, that's a little tricky for me. I'm gonna use my hundreds chart on that one. I'm gonna start on 17 and I'm gonna jump backwards nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 17 minus nine equals eight. So I'm gonna put my eight down here. Ooh, that looks like a crazy eight, but that's an eight. Sorry about that. It's hard to write and hold this at the same time. Okay, so that's an eight. And then I'm gonna go over to my tens column and I'm gonna subtract eight minus three. Um, another way to do it is put eight in your head and then count backwards three. So eight, seven, six, five. Eight minus three equals five. 97 minus 39 equals 58. I hope that was helpful. That's it for now, bye.